illustrations by Pete. Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm pretty excited because before I even posted the last video, uh, I had 25 subscribers and I thank you so much for watching my videos and for subscribing, those of you who do. And if you don't subscribe, that's okay. Thank you for watching my videos. So I'm going to do a giveaway as promised and I have to do a little strange. The YouTube is a little weird with how things need to be done. I can't say, hey, comment below because comments and interactions tell the YouTube algorithm that this video is wonderful and so getting people to artificially comment when they wouldn't normally is something that they frown upon. I can't say that this is only for subscribers because then everyone will subscribe and that's again inflating the numbers and you can't do that. That's okay. Uh, you don't have to be subscribed. I, I, I was also going to do an Instagram where you go on Instagram, post something and tag me, but I can't do that either because if you leave this video and go off the platform, it tells YouTube that as soon as everybody sees this video, they all leave. So what I'm gonna do is this. Down below, I'm going to put my email. And I'd like you to send me an email with your name and the country you're in. Just the country, not your address, uh, unless you're picked to win. Because uh, that's just personal information. I, I wanna, but I would like to know what country you're in because um, according to YouTube, most of my viewers are not in the US and I'd like to know where you are. Uh, I'm in the US and I think only about 7% of my views come from the US, the rest come from, uh, I think about 6% come from the UK and the rest come from other places. So I'd like to know where you're from. So if you could do that, that'd be great. And then also send me a picture in that email of something that means something to you. I would prefer if it was artwork if it was a drawing, sketch, doodle, whatever it is, painting, whatever. But uh, just something that means something to you. Maybe it's a um, an instrument or maybe it's your pet. Please do not send images of people in your life. Uh, children or uh, parents, siblings, please don't do that because I wanna put this up on another video after you send it to me when I announce that you won. I may post that picture and by you sending it to me, you're giving me permission to post it. So, and I don't want to do that with people's families, especially uh, young kids, things like that. I'm a big supporter of the best you can afford. And so what I'd like to give you is something I think is the number one thing whenever you pick art supplies is the substrate, the, the thing that you're putting that art onto, I think is the most important thing because all the other stuff you can kind of fudge a little bit. You can get by with a little bit cheaper brushes. You can get by with less pigmented paint or uh, a Bic pen instead of a fountain pen or instead of a drawing pen. That's fine, but your, your paper, your canvas, whatever it is you use, if it's the right kind, it will perform properly. Whatever it is will perform better as long as it goes on the right thing. So uh, I'm gonna send, uh, this is going to be the prize for whoever wins and it is uh, the arches. And it's a cold press, but it, and it's the pad version. It's not the block version. I've used them both. I don't see a difference in the paper at all. They're both amazing. They're, it's the same paper to me, as far as I'm concerned. If you think it's a little different, I understand. But uh, I'm gonna send this to someone you, can use it for drawing, painting, whatever you want. I know it's cold press, and some people may think that's a little weird, uh, because if, especially if you're drawing or you're doing something like acrylics, you can use acrylics on this paper. There's no problem with that. You can actually water down your acrylics a little bit and paint. You usually can't water down acrylics too much because it won't stick to the canvas, because the canvas is usually sealed. And so there's, it doesn't penetrate the canvas. But on paper, you can water down your acrylics a little bit and it'll just seep into the page and um, it'll stick, it'll be okay. So however you want to use this is fine if you are entering it just to give this to someone else that you know that's an artist, that's fine too. But uh, this is what I'll be sending out. Um, if for some reason you are in a country where I cannot send that to you, I will get you something. If I pick your name, I'll get you something because uh, I, I just want to thank you. I, this is great for me, 
but I want to tell you that I really appreciate you watching, even if you're not subscribed. Some people just watch YouTube videos, and that's wonderful, and I appreciate that. I thank you very much. So, the way that I'm going to do this, it's a little bit more painstaking for me, but I really don't mind. Um, there's not going to be thousands of people who are going to be watching this video. At least I don't think so. I hope there are thousands of people watching this video, but I don't think there are going to be a thousand people that have entered this contest. And so what I'm going to do is take your name. I'm going to put it in a hat. I'm going to pick it, write your name down on a pad, and stick it back in the hat. I'm going to mix it up again. And if I have to get a bucket, I'll get a bucket. Whatever I have to get. But I've got to pick your name three times. Whoever's name gets picked three times, that person will win the prize. Good luck to you. Hope you win. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let's get into the video. Okay, so... I mentioned in a previous video that I always like to do things from nature. This picture is from Pixabay, and I'm going to transform this into a drawing. And I'll, I'll show you how to how I do that. It's very, it's not a representation of it. It's more like an abstract representation of what that thing was. And I did put some things in pencil on the page first where I wanted them, and just drew a brief outline. And then I'm going to go ahead and and do a full drawing of it. So I'm recording this voiceover for the second time. I recorded the whole thing and was ready to process the video and the program closed on me before I could save it and lost the whole thing. And that happens sometimes. I'm not complaining too much. Uh, it's frustrating, but it happens. And you just do it again. So I wanna clarify something that I said about the contest and, and why I said, please don't send any pictures of your family, um, your children, or your whatever. The reason is, is because here's the thing. Have you ever been on Instagram and you're following someone and you're following their, all the artwork they're doing and you're a big fan, you're a big supporter and you follow all the stuff they do. And then they post a picture of their kids or, um, maybe of their spouse uh, on the beach in a bathing suit or the picture of their uh, brother or sister or their parent or something and you don't want to seem well maybe it's just me you let me know but if it's I don't want to seem creepy so I use it's very uncomfortable for me when that happens because I I don't want them to think I don't support them and of course I think it's great that you think the world your family uh, I, I do as well I understand that but I don't want to like of what are you saying well I mean it doesn't matter what you're saying how does it come across if you like a photo of someone someone posts posts a picture of their spouse who's all dressed up or um, whatever and then you like the video when you don't even know that person you're just you know you're a fan maybe of their artwork or maybe they're a photographer and you like the pictures of the sunsets that they do whatever and now you're liking a picture of their children it's it's weird to me I, I it's very uncomfortable I don't do it and if if I see that I just bypass it I like the next photo that's okay, but I think it's a little creepy, and I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be that creepy person and say, well, you know, because of course, probably people in their family follow their Instagram, and those people will like the pictures of their kids and their spouse and things, and that's fine, but what are you saying, or how is it taken when you, as someone who doesn't know that family, likes a picture of that person's family um and you don't want to be discouraging and i'm not saying that that the pictures are in any way inappropriate or creepy or anything like that it's just i i just find it weird um and i don't do it kind of like how i don't it, you know if someone does a lot of artwork and then they just post a random selfie of themselves i usually don't like that either because again, I'm, I, I don't want to be creepy. I don't, it, it might be a nice photo and it might be whatever, but I don't want anyone to take that the wrong way. And so it makes me uncomfortable. That's what I'm trying to say. It makes me uncomfortable and I just don't do it. And that's a personal choice, but let me know if you do. That's going to be the question of the day. When you follow someone's photos or whatever you follow, it could be on Facebook, anything. If, um, 
well Facebook you tend to know the people that's that's different it's Instagram if, if you come across that it, do you like those photos do you like someone you know you like the way that they paint birds or whatever and that's what they do all the time and all of a sudden they have a random photo of like their kid um, or their spouse or something do you like that photo is it weird for you? Do you feel a little uncomfortable doing that? And you're not sure what to do? And sometimes you like it, but then you are you get weird about liking it? And I don't know. But just let me know. Okay, so here's an observation. Uh, art is a weird thing. And here's where it's really weird. There are a lot of people, let's say, that paint uh, watercolor flowers or do like urban sketching on YouTube or maybe they do line and wash or something like that but and no one says oh this person's copying this person because a lot of urban sketching looks very very similar and from artist to artist to artist it just it looks very similar of course there's things you can you can make it your own you can stand out in a crowd I'm not saying that you can't but a lot of times it's it's very similar however if you do something that maybe isn't done so much maybe only one or two other people do it and then you do it everyone accuses you of copying that person's style that's a weird thing because it doesn't happen in any other thing in, in life I don't really think it I want you to think about that if if you are um, do abstract acrylic paintings well, there's a lot of people that do abstract acrylic paintings or acrylic pourings or whatever. Um, some kind of abstract acrylic work. There's a lot of people that do it. Nobody accuses anybody of copying anyone else. But doing something like what I'm doing where you're doing abstract drawings, there's only a couple of people, especially on YouTube. There's only a couple of people on YouTube that do it. I'm sure there's a ton of people who do it. But there's only a couple of people on YouTube that do it. And so the person who does it last is accused of the copying the person who does it first even though it's just there's just a fewer amount of people doing it it doesn't mean that it's not a type of art it doesn't mean that um, hundreds if not thousands of people have done it before and uh, some very famous people have done it in the past and there's a there's a ton of them but but YouTube is funny too because that it just kind of narrows things down but it's strange with art that this happens it's a strange thing and um, uh, I'll give you one example there is um, there's someone on YouTube who does line and wash and they do very well uh, Peter Sheeler I'm a huge fan of his work you ever have a chance to look at it he's an amazing artist and um, Neil Rocha also and I'm probably uh, forgive me if I'm butchering that uh, that name but um, that's how it looks to me that's just how I'm pronouncing it no Rocha if I'm wrong I apologize but they do something very similar to Peter Schiller and and they both do a great job they're both amazing artists I love their work I don't think anyone's copying anyone else I think they just see something one person saw someone and I, I'm not sure who was doing it first I believe Peter Schiller was but I could be wrong don't quote me on that but let's say he was that doesn't mean that Nil is copying it that's not what that means it, it's just that there's a popular a, a type of art that is popular outside of the arena but isn't very common on YouTube so it looks like one is copying the other and, um, and they could be fans of each other too. They might be subscribed to each other's channels. I don't know. But they may know each other. Who knows? What, whatever the case is, um, one will be accused of copying the other. And I don't think that that's right. I think that you can do your art the way you want to do your art. And people are going to borrow from other people's styles. That's how art gets made. Nobody is doing anything brand new within reason. Everyone is copying a style that they've seen somewhere before and they're just doing it themselves. They're just adding it to their flavor of what they do with art. And that's all that is. But I want to talk about that because I think it's a weird thing. And if you've noticed that before, let me know. 
but I have noticed that quite a bit, especially here on YouTube. That is, people jump all over everybody here on YouTube for everything. I don't know what that is, but um, you know, artists should really be supporting each other. We're just trying to create stuff. We're just trying to have some fun, um, some self-expression, and that's all we're really doing. So as this video comes to a close, I just again want to thank everyone for watching videos and for subscribing. And, um, you know, this is something very special for me. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time. And I, I, you know, I'm just now getting a rhythm going with it and really starting to experiment a little bit more now that I've done a few videos. And I really appreciate the support of everybody. I wouldn't be able to do this without you. So thank you so much. You're awesome. If you enjoyed this video, there's a couple more videos that you might enjoy also. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.